Hello and uh, today we'll be uh, checking out the OpenCart Multi-Vendor Marketplace Advanced Booking Reservation Plugin uh, that allows the Marketplace admin as well as the Marketplace sellers to add booking and reservation uh, to their product and um, this particular plugin is uh, very useful whenever you want to change your website into an event-driven website like uh, a booking movie uh, tickets or uh, uh, doing appointments, hotel rooms, etc. So basically you can add six type of bro uh, booking product, uh, uh, bookings for your products basically and they are many bookings in one day, one booking for many days, customer time based booking which is based on per hour and per day, appointment booking, rental booking that has the daily, hourly and the hourly plus daily basis option and the event booking. So today we'll be first checking uh, uh, the appointment booking in today's uh, video and we'll be seeing the customer flow how the customer can uh, make use of the uh, booking product there to uh, make a booking online so uh, today we'll be checking out the appointment booking and here we have the appointment booking product right now and before we proceed please do uh, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates apart from that if you find this particular video useful do give it a thumbs up so uh, here you can see that I'm the uh, uh, open card multi window marketplace web store front end and I'm on the product that's the appointment booking and on the right hand side here we have the product itself uh, with the location uh, the uh, uh, availability uh, there are the slots that can be seen here we can tap the show more to see the different uh, slots that are there uh, depending upon the daily basis there uh, then we have the uh, book now option and we have the uh, amount uh, per booking here so uh, if I tap here on the book now button so you can see this uh, particular pop-up comes up for the appointment booking uh, product and uh, for today as uh, the last slot that we have is starting from 8 in the evening so this that's why right now it's not showing anything for today so if I go to the uh, 14th that's the Saturday so here we have the slots available from uh, 8 a.m. in the morning up till 8 uh, to 10 p.m. in the evening and here you can see that we have uh, available slots as well uh, for each of the uh, slots that we've created the time slots that we've created for them we have the available uh, uh, booking slots that can be purchased well let's uh, choose a particular time period uh, for uh, the same and uh, we'll be choosing the number of bookings here so we'll be making uh, around uh, 200 bookings for the example and I'll be checking up this thing here and uh, if I scroll down here we have the details uh, the date from and to uh, the total quantity there and we can add it to the card from here now if uh, there are any uh, partial available ones then uh, we'll have this yellow icon on them uh, and if we have uh, any slot that's uh, completely booked we'll have a red one on that and if anyone is not available then we'll have this gray kind of a thing on uh, that so um, and now uh, I'll just add it to the card and uh, I will add the product to the card so we are for the appointment booking the duration is uh, one slot and that slot has been uh, purchased uh, for the rate of hundred dollars uh, there and the booking is from 14th uh, November from uh, 4 to uh, 6 p.m. in the evening and here we have the total so let's make a check out with the appointment booking uh, product so that's how easy a uh, customer can easily uh, log in and uh, make a booking for the appointments there be a doctor's appointment uh, and uh, so I'll just make a check out and I'll be purchasing that particular slot uh, on that uh, particular uh, date uh, from 4 to 6 uh, p.m. rate is hundred dollars and we'll stop here in the confirm button to confirm our uh, appointment booking uh, for the doctor there and uh, now we can check uh, the uh, history of the order as well or the order details as well order ID 207 plus stop here in the wave uh, button here we have the appointment booking product duration is one slot rate is hundred dollars from 14th November uh, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the evening so that's how uh, easily the customers uh, can uh, basically purchase the uh, product and uh, can uh, purchase uh, or book the uh, appointments online as we have seen in the case of appointment booking uh, product here 
so that was the customers end and uh, now let me show you how the marketplace seller would be able to set up the appointment booking product so for that I'll just uh, log out of my customer account and uh, I'll be logging into my uh, window account and uh, so here I'll just enter the details we are logged into the uh, window dashboard here we have the window options on the right hand side for the marketplace now here you can see that we have the marketplace advanced booking and reservation option and from here the marketplace windows can create uh, uh, different type of uh, booking products like uh, any product uh, uh, that allows many bookings in a one in one day for example uh, uh, the uh, movie tickets uh, one booking for many days for example if there's a uh, event coming up that uh, that has uh, bookings that are valid for many days then we have the customer time based booking uh, appointment event rental and the rest of the one so we are talking about the uh, a point one to one so we'll just uh, now basically under these sections uh, the sellers can check out uh, the bookings that have been made for the booking product so under the appointment bookings we will have the appointment uh, bookings that have been made and the same details can be checked by the uh, respective seller whose uh, booking product it is now let's see how we can add the booking to the product and create a appointment booking product so for that uh, we'll uh, just uh, navigate to the product list and uh, we'll be adding a new product by tapping here on the add new product button and uh, thereafter uh, we'll just set up our new appointment booking product its name description the rest of the things there and uh, lastly we'll be coming to the booking and reservation tab here and here for the select booking type the seller will choose the booking type as uh, appointment booking he can uh, select uh, from and the select to date uh, for the appointment booking so I can choose it from Friday uh, till uh, we'll just choose it as till 27th I will set the status as enabled we can choose the location now one more thing is that let me take you to the storefront now here we have the option to view the location on the map as well so the location is New York and we can tap here on the view on map and this brings up the details of the location where that particular uh, appointment is uh, for the customer so here we'll enter the uh, location uh, for the same uh, we can choose to show map with the uh, location you can enable or disable the option uh, you can choose to have the same slots for all days so if you want to have these slots uh, that you've created uh, for one day for to be applicable uh, for all of the days and you need to choose this option as a yes otherwise you can choose it as a no and you can create different slot for different days you can also create the slots uh, whether the slots are having uh, the uh, quantity or not if you have set it as yes and all the slots uh, have a quantity otherwise they won't be having any quantity there so you can choose it as a yes that slots whatever slots we're creating each of the slots would be having their own quantity there then we have the slot span here so we can just tap here and uh, we can set up the uh, slot span starting from and uh, it's up to uh, up the time there for example if I go from uh, right now uh, to let's go to 8 9 10 14 16 18 and uh, let me make the quantity as 10 so uh, similarly we can uh, create uh, more slot uh, spans as well so uh, if I create it uh, from uh, all right that's just an example how we can create for each days similarly from the drop down you can do it for uh, each of the days there and uh, lastly you just need to tap here in the save button and we are done uh, creating our uh, appointment based uh, product that can be uh, selected by the customer from the storefront check the details there uh, can uh, book the slot that you created and each of the uh, created uh, slot spans would be having their own quantity and whenever it's uh, purchased out uh, the quantity would then be uh, reduced now let me take you to the storefront once again so now if I go to the book now option here and I go to the 14th uh, date that we have and uh, if I scroll down so this was a uh, four to six slot that we had purchased we had purchased 200 uh, uh, bookings for that particular slot so right now you can see it's only showing only 300 right now so uh, and after you're done with here uh, just uh, tap here in the save button and your product will be saved and whenever this uh, created product uh, 
is uh, used uh, for making the booking that particular booking would then be available under the appointment booking uh, section so if I go to the appointment booking for this particular seller you can see so these are just the test products there so uh, tapping here would bring up the details of the booking that have been made for that particular one and for that particular product itself and here you can see that we th have three different uh, uh, bookings for that uh, particular uh, appointment booking uh, uh, there and uh, for that uh, particular uh, product that we have that the appointment booking product that we have for that we have three different orders that are come in so from here uh, the select cancel uh, can uh, reschedule it so uh, the same can be done by the customers as well so if I tap here in the reschedule button uh, basically it helps the seller to reschedule any of the uh, uh, booking that have been uh, made so uh, for that you'll have to go to that particular date itself so uh, its booking is from uh, it's from an old date there we can reschedule it so we'll have to check same date okay reschedule we can choose 21 reschedule okay we need to have the similar different state and time okay so uh, for that I'll just go back this one is uh, from 9 to 17 so we don't have an actual uh, one uh, actual uh, booking from and booking two dates available right now so I'll show you that later you can also check the user guide for the uh, more details and uh, from here as it is uh, cancelled also and from here you can see that uh, the uh, the vendor has the option to cancel it as well so if we tap on this cancel it that would cancel this particular ticket also one more thing is that, that uh, it should not be uh, uh, booked by an agent if it's booked by an agent then uh, the seller would not be able to uh, cancel it out then the agent would have to uh, cancel it out and uh, that's how we can check the bookings for the appointment booking uh, products that have been uh, booked so here we have two different products two booking products and for each booking product we can check the different bookings that have been made by just tapping in the booking link and uh, we can also sync it to our calendar we can check the calendar view as well if i tap here in the calendar view we'll have the calendar view uh, for the uh, product itself so here we can see which uh, dates are available and which are not if i go back uh, we can sync the calendar and uh, here we have for example you can see we have the approved ones and uh, we also have the options to cancel the rest of the ones there so uh, that was much about the open card value in the marketplace uh, booking and reservation plugin and we showed you how we can create uh, an appointment uh, uh, booking uh, or uh, how we can apply the booking uh, to an to a product and create an appointment booking product and how the customers can uh, place your orders for those uh, 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 booking products from the storefront how they can choose the slot and how they can uh, uh, choose the booking uh, ticket available for that particular slot there and the rest of the things and if you hope uh, if uh, if you uh, like this video please do give it a thumbs up and uh, if you uh, want you can also check our uh, social links that we have uh, asked within the uh, uh, description of this particular video and you can just drop us a hello there and apart from that, for any questions, queries, suggestions, or requirements, uh, kindly uh, get back to us at support at the rate of .com, or you can raise a ticket at webcool.tvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this particular video, and have a great day.